let's have a look at the perimeter of a circle. When we talk about the circle, the perimeter is now called the circumference. And the circumference is the same as the perimeter, it's still the distance on the outside. However, we calculate this a little bit differently. As you can see, there is no starting point or end point. So it is rather difficult for us to determine where the circle starts and where the circle ends. However, we make use of the distance line from the middle. So this is the middle point of our circle. And we go to the outer border of the circle, which is the line that we see here. And the line that goes from the middle to the outer border is called the radius. So let's say R for radius. Now the radius is very important to us because it gives us that distance from the middle point of the circle to the border of the circle. Now we can go from let's say A and then we go all the way around halfway to B and then other way around to A again. So therefore we need to extend the radius. And now we have another radius. So we are seeing that what we have done with the circle is that we have cut it into half. And let me just adjust this board. There we go. And this is called the diameter or diameter. And we are going to give this the abbreviation D. And we can see that D is equal to how many R's? 1, 2. So R plus R, which is 2 R's. So 2 radii is equal to 1 diameter. So we are moving from A to B and then from B to A. So the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 radii because we move from this point all the way around. However, when we work with circles, we make use of the constant called pi. This is pi. Not like the one that we eat. This is a different pi. And pi that we use is 3,142. So the circumference of the circle is two pieces of radii multiplied by pi. So let's look at an example. Let's say in our example that the radius is let's say 5 centimeters. Now we have to calculate the circumference. So C is equal to 2 times 5 centimeters times pi which is going to give us 10 pi centimeters. Now in mathematical literacy you can um, use a calculator so then we can go further and say that 10 times 3,142 let's put centimeters in somewhere and C is equal to 31,42 centimeters. And that will be the circumference of our circle. So just to recap quickly, circumference is calculated by two radii, which is the diameter. So the diameter times the pi and that will give us the circumference. You can write this differently. So a different variation of this formula is to say 
2 radii is equal to 1 diameter, so it is pi times diameter. So that is a different variation of writing it. So if they give you the diameter, you can use it as is in calculating the circumference. So you don't have to go and calculate the radius and then multiply it by 2. You can use it as is.